Hello everyone, welcome to Birds and Birdies, a place called Mallard Pond. Now the view, the access to this, there's really no access, you just have to view it from the road because it is a protected wildlife refuge, so we're not allowed walking on the property. But today my target was the northern shoveler and it is here. So I'm gonna hopefully show you that. Thank you for joining us here on Birds and Birdies. I hope you enjoy it. Here we see the view from the road of Mallard Pond. You can see I'm quite some way away, so it, it takes a pretty powerful zoom. But right away I got on these ringneck ducks and was super excited to see them. They're just so beautiful. And then as I was panning, oh, I thought I caught the wing of our target species, the northern shoveler but then I lost it and my autofocus went in the reeds. Here you see a bunch of ring neck ducks and um, they spooked for a particular reason and I'll explain that to you in just a second. But mixed in with those gorgeous ring neck ducks are American widgeons, both the males and the females. And then here I did find a small group of northern pintails, which I find to be probably the most elegant looking of ducks. And there's a gadwall in the back. Actually, I didn't even know that gadwall was there until right now reviewing this. So we had the northern pintail and of course the Canada geese there also. So we, here we are. The one northern shoveler that was in this whole group of ducks on Mallard Pond this day and he actually came out from the reeds and I was able to uh, get a little video. Now I am zoomed way in. You can imagine I'm set up on the on the road but I am zoomed way in on that beautiful duck and I want to um, read just a little bit about the northern shoveler. It is a medium-sized duck smaller than a mallard huge spoon-shaped bill, visible at a distance and in flight. And there's an example. We just paused here to see that distinct outline as he cocked his head to the side. And this is a male. So they have that huge, visible from a distance, spoon-shaped bill. Breeding males have a dark green head, white breast, and chestnut sides and belly. Females have a buffy brown with large, distinctive bill also chalky blue upper wing. They forge by sifting through the water and a habit they have of swimming in spirals in groups. I've actually never witnessed, but hopefully one day I will. That is our target spe species acquired the Northern Shoveler. Okay, as we finish up this video, I wanted to briefly zoom out and talk about one thing that happened. When I was set up on the road, a truck pulled right around me, proceeded to walk through the uh, do not trespass chains right up to the lake, carrying a big camera, spooked a couple hundred ducks up into the air, presumably to take pictures of them in flight. This is the back of that individual. And while I don't know him and don't want to wish him any harm, um, what he did was not very respectful and uh, kind of resent that a little bit. But to close on a good note, uh, here are a couple hundred, mostly tundra swan, probably some trumpeter swan mixed in there just to close this video on something absolutely gorgeous and end it on a great note. Thank you for joining everyone. Oh, look at those bald eagles up in that tree and one on that mound. They were everywhere that day too. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video and join us next time here on Birds and Birdies. Take care, everyone.